Hello, good evening. How are you today? Hi. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Fine. Fine, fine. Great to see you. Me too, teacher. Okay. How was your day? Tell me. A little tired. Right. Because I went to I I have a, a field trip in the rural communities. Mm. But I enjoy a delicious beans. Oh. Fresh beans soups. <gasps> Wow, that's good. Yeah, good. with pork. That's something that we cannot have so often, right? In the in the city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Let's see. I'm going to check attendance. Hey, today we're talking about transitions. Transit so to be kind of, kind of busy today. As a as a beginning, as an introduction, we're going to do something different today. I'm going to send you a link for you to enter and check how much you know about transitions, right? Mm -hmm. Yesterday uh, we were mentioning a couple of them. Espérenme que yo estoy como, como, de, como de lado, estoy, no sé cómo está trabajando, por si va, espérenme. Now that I turn on the camera, I notice that I'm not in the right position here. Ok, <laughs> much better. Ok, well. I'm going to send you a link so you're going to play right a little bit and look for the right transition that do you take the tennis? I'm I'm going to right now. Okay, okay. Let's see. I'm going to send you the link after a call attendance 24th today. Okay, Adolfo Rivas. Present teacher. Nice. Adriana Maria. Greetings. No here, Adriana Maria. Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Ana. Present teacher. Nice. Y Brenda. Present teacher. Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia, Claudia, Claudia. No puedo ir de no. Voy a preguntarle a alguien. I listen to a robot. A robot. Cruz Antonio. Cruz. Present teacher. Nice. David. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. eh, Jose Alberto. Present teacher. Jose Alfredo. Jose Alfredo. No. Jose Hernando. Present. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mauricio Emilio. Good evening. No. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Saul Edgardo. Saul. Zulma Enet. Present. Victor, Fernando Enrique, 
present teacher. Rosie, still working, right? Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, I'm going to share with you a one, one link. Let me go to it. Here we're talking, uh, we have a combination of, of transitions, right? We have transitions of purpose, of reason, and result. So what you're going to do is divide them in the different categories according to what type of transition you think it is. I'm sorry. I'm going to share the link in the chat, in the chat of Zoom. Check it. Check, check if you can enter. Do it and then we check together, right? And then we see uh, what's going on there. Mm -hmm. Did you see it? Yes. Did you see it? We had to put the name, teacher. No. No. You just enter the link, and what you have to do there is a move, right? Drag the transitions and put them into the correct position. Uh, according to what you know, what, what we were talking about yesterday, remember? That yesterday we were making um, a review of transitions so you could remember when, which are and what type of transitions they are. So that's a checking to see how much you remember. Mm -hmm. Did you enter? Yes. Yes, yes. No. Yes. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. I am in work in work well. You are in? Work well. Uh -huh. And I have a, a purpose, a reason, and result. Exactly. That's the game. That's the game you're doing. Yeah. Okay.
Uh -huh. How are you doing? Twelve. My PC is starting again because the game is stopped. Oh. I have twelve. <laughs> Okay, check what was the problem. Okay. In what teacher? I don't know what we are going to do. Drag. They give you, they give you, a, I'm sorry, I cannot share the screen, right? But they give you a lot of transitions. Drag them. Drag es alar con el mouse, la ala, y la ubica debajo de donde debe ir. Yes? Chavio como. Mm -hmm. But what is that in the chat? Oh, wait. It's, a it's a link for you to enter. Uh, yeah. I I shared the the website in in WhatsApp too. WhatsApp. Yeah, I was checking that. Mm -hmm. Conditional. So consequently. <laughs> oh my god how many correct let me see uh 12 over 21 <laughs> mm -hmm. that's okay that's okay that's fine <laughs> Let's start again. Okay, I like this this game, teacher. Yeah, it's a it's a way for you to go check, right? Mm -hmm. So you can practice. Yeah. You sure? Yes. I have better result doing use uh, to the with with with, with put attention uh -huh. that doing by my own things that 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 I know. Uh huh. When I when I when I do that way, I have ten. So now I have forty. Okay. You are improving. Second time you improved. Not really, because I just put, just put, just put, just put, and I and I obtain forty. Ten correct. Or ten as a score. No, fourteen. Fourteen. Fourteen correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. When I do by my own. I have 10. Oh. So just doing kidding for say that uh -huh. I have more. Hmm. So something's going wrong then. A ver. What do you have? What do you have in purpose? Talking about purpose. Huh? Transitions of purpose. 
What transitions did you put there? Yes. Uh, as. Uh -huh. As is reason. Uh, I have. When you say, as I was very tired, right? As I was very tired, I went to bed early. That's us. Yes. Another one? As a, a reason, only reason? No, tell me what you have in purpose. May, may I share, teacher? No. O sea, yes, pero no, don't share the screen. We cannot share the screen. Uh, oh, for, for the purpose. For the purpose. Oh. Yes. For uh -huh. the purpose. Tell me, tell me, but don't share the screen, eh, Mauricio. Okay, okay. And the purpose I put for the purpose of, with the intention, in uh -huh. order, to, and so that have that uh, uh, correct. Perfect. For the purpose of, so that, in order to, and so as to, okay? No, 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 no. I put with the intention of. With the intention of. Okay. In, in, in reason, I put because of, uh -huh. other side, in case, as. Otherwise. Uh-huh. Otherwise, in case. Those two, since. You too? Yeah, the two. Since. Mm -hmm. In, in, in this part, I have, I just have one wrong. I okay. put conditionals. Okay, okay. For this reason and for that reason, right? And the, and the result I put as a result, as a consequence, with the result that, and consequently. Consequently. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else do you have in result? A ver, somebody else can ask something apart of what Mauricio told me. He mentioned as a consequence with the result that. Because, because of. Mm, because of is reason. It's reason. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I got it. What else do you have in result? Do a two, do two or for, reason. Always or two, for this, always for this two. reason, you can you can get as a result, right? For this reason, is reason. For this reason, is uh, is reason. Uh huh. For this reason and for that reason, is reason. For example, and result and, and thirty four. Yes, is result. Excuse me. Therefore, 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 therefore is result. Okay. Yes. Therefore, uh, going on, owing to. Owing to is reason. Reason. Yeah. Consequently. So, consequently, yeah. Consequently is result. As so, a consequence. As a consequence to is a result. And conditionals mm. with the with result, the result that. that result to hmm? with the result that with the result that is result, yes. In conditional, where where can I put? In result. Conditionals. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am afraid of my grade. <laughs> <laughs> so as to is purpose. Yeah, so as to. Okay. Okay, I improve. I have a better behavior. Uh -huh. You got it better. 18 over 21. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, Thank much, you, teacher. Much, much better, right? 
Well, today is 24th. 24th. A ver, what ordinal number or what is the ending of the day 24? A ver. Remember when we say the date, we write ordinal numbers, right? Mm -hmm. so what is the number when we write 24? 24. 24th. Yes, 24th. We have, when we write 24th, that's like a, like a, 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 it's an ordinal, right? It's an ordinal number. I'm going to use the H. Yesterday, we wrote our day for the 23rd, 22nd, and D, and 21st, S. T. Those are the endings of the ordinal number, the one that we put to the number here. That's when giving the date in English. Remember, if you're talking about British, you will say the 24th of November, right? But in American English, you will say November 24th. Okay, well, we said that today, well, this is our video conference numbers 18. We're finishing in seven days. So that means we finish next Monday, right? No, the following Monday, not next. The following on Monday, December the 5th. That's the time or that's the day when we finish. Okay, check the class objectives. Participants will be able to provide suggestions to solve common issues related to warehousing processes. Uh, remember yesterday we were writing the problem, well, yeah, the problems, the issues. And today you are going to be writing the solutions for those problems that we're going to use transitions of result as we give the solutions of the problem. Just refreshing. A ver, we have packing. What is packing? Who wants to read? Packing? Me? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Your order must be packed in the right packaging, complete with an accurate content, a slip in order to delivery manifest for this part. <clears throat> with an accurate content slip. Mm -hmm. With and an accurate manifest for dispatch. Okay, pack. Yeah. Managing returns. Who wants to read managing returns? A ver, Sul Mom, read managing returns. Ulma. Hello, managing returns. Yeah. Uh, this goods need to be unload and then check, check off against the original order. And the information has to be logged against the customer's account. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. Carlita read inbound processes. Items need to be checked and loaded as they are received and put away in the correct bins mm -hmm. or packed for dispatch without further storage. Nice, nice, nice. Picking. Picking, picking, Jose Alberto. Picking. It must be easy for your pickers to find items in their journey. Time between items and between orders should be minim minimized. Minimized, yes. No minimals, but that's not okay, minimized. Okay, let's see. Solo molestando aquí. Bye. Ah, let's let's choose another volunteer. 
Volunteer. Nubia. Okay, Ana, and then Nubia will read, read shipping. Go, Ana. Fast moving items need to be near the front of the warehouse. Items that are often bought together need to be close to each other. Items that are easily mistaken for each other should be separated. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shipping. The, the right order must be on the right vehicle at the right time with the right delivery manifest. Yes. Okay. Very good. Very good. Now, we have the processes here, packing, managing, return, symbol processes, picking, layout, transloading, and shipping. And as you know, that if these processes are not well organized in a, in a warehouse, ooh, you have a big problem, right? You have a lot of issues to work with. So later on, we will be talking about the issues that you listed yesterday. Right now, we're going to talk about transitions. These are transitions of result. I'm going to be combining transitions of result with also a transitions of with cause and effect because they go kind of together, right? <laughs> if you look for result, they tell you, oh, cause, oh effect what is the effect of this or what is the result of this but then we want to know also what caused the problem right so we are using or we're combining them a little bit but check these transitions we said yesterday that transitions are words or phrases phrases like in the case of as, as a consequence right this is a phrase as a result is a phrase as a result, right? And um, we have words also like consequently and therefore, and there are others that we will see later. Um, we use transitions. They can be phrase, transitionals, uh, or words to connect ideas, right? In this case, these transitions connect a result to the action that causes it, you see? That's why I told you the cause and the effect most of the time go together, right? So if we talk about effect, we call we talk also about the cause. So what is the cause in this problem? Hmm, the label information was wrong. Yes. And then as a consequence of that situation that the label information was wrong, the packages were put in the incorrect bins. Now, check when transitions, when, when the transition is positioned between two clauses, we have one clause here and the other one here, punctuation can be as follows. So you have period and then a comma, right? Because we have two ideas right, so two clauses, each clause is a different idea. We have two ideas and then the transition is joining the two ideas, right? So you say the label uh, the label information was wrong. Hmm. That's, that's the cause of the problem. As a consequence of this situation, the packages were put in the incorrect things. We have another one. The products were not properly packaged. That's the cost, right? This is the cost, this is the problem. As a result, they were damaged. The products were not properly packaged. As a result, they were damaged. Another situation, the vendors Missed the delivery date. Oops, it was yesterday. Oh no. So consequently, the retailer asked for a reimbursement. This, the second sentence, as you can see here, is the result 
of this one. Okay. So this is the cost and this is the result. This is the cost and this is the result. You can say result, you can say consequence, so you can say effect at the end. It is the same thing, right? We didn't know there were dangerous chemicals in the shipment. Hmm, that was a cost, that's a problem, right? So we didn't know there were dangerous chemicals in the shipment. As a result, some workers had to go to the hospital. So this is the result. Yes. There were no worker safety guidelines. Oh, cause. So this caused the problem. The result of the problem, the training, we trained the staff in safety procedures. There were no worker safety guidelines. Therefore, we trained the staff in safety procedures. I don't know if you have any questions at the moment. Any questions? Chino. Hmm. 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 Okay. No, just uh, I'm I am <laughs> really thinking that transitional is a little difficult mm. uh, at the moment that now you have I'm to... telling you. Hmm. Why? <laughs> Why? Yeah, at the moment that you have to write, because uh -huh. if you speak, uh, you can find uh, any other words, right? Uh -huh. But if you if you write, is uh, I have to be careful how how to use after of that or when you put a comma. The, uh -huh, the punctuation is very important. The punctuation, yeah. The punctuation. Uh -huh. So you see, uh -huh. Uh -huh. remember before we have started conjunctions, right? With the conjunctions, you don't worry much, but with the transitions, the punctuation is like a very important point. So you have the first, the first clause, as we could say, uh -huh. the first uh -huh. clause, then period, then the transition, and then a comma. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. That's the punctuation. Now check. As I told you, reason or cause and reason go together with result. So that's why I wrote this uh, here, so we can give a check, right? Check. Um, we have a couple of of uh, transitions. We're going to see couple. Not all. There are many, right? that we can use to, to talk about cause. Because and since, you know that since is also, uh, is also used to express time, right? For example. Yeah, for a long time. Uh-huh, uh not or necessarily. Even, or, no. or even. But for example, when you use in the present perfect, you say, I have been here since. Yeah. Since Right? I yeah. have been studying English since ooh, last year. Mm -hmm. I, okay. I have been your teacher since last year, I guess. Yeah. Right? Okay. So, in that case, we're using since as time, but not here. Here, we are using since to show a cause or to show a reason. Yes? So the meaning of since in this case as a transition, uh -huh. it's used as it's similar to because. So you say, we went to the beach because it was sunny. And check the difference. When using this transition of reason, we do not use a, especially with because, right? We do uh -huh. not use punctuation in the middle. A very, very common mistake is people putting comma before because, and because it's like, there is no pause before giving a reason. So you don't need a comma, you don't need a period, you don't need anything, yeah. right? It's overpass. 
Uh -huh. So you say, we went to the beach because it was sunny. Since it was sunny, we went to the beach. So um, you, can, you can change the order, right? So you can give me this at the beginning and you can use since. Because it's very strange to begin a sentence with because. We like to say because it was sunny, we went to the beach. It's like, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. not it's not very formal. But you can perfectly use oh, since to begin a sentence. And then you say since it was sunny, comma, in that case, you need a comma. Since it was sunny, comma, we went to the beach. I'm going to write it here. Since it was sunny. Mm -hmm. Since it was sunny, comma, we went to the beach. And we are expressing exactly the same thing, right? Now, check the other one. We stayed home since it was raining. And you can perfectly uh, use because instead of since, and the meaning will not change at all. We stayed home because it was raining. Or you can switch. Since it was raining, we stayed home. And not a problem there. You can perfectly make that switch. We use at the beginning. You can use it at the beginning, but since, okay. not because, right? Mm -hmm. If you, yeah. you substitute things with because, you leave it where it is. We stayed home because it was raining. Oh, since it was raining, we stayed home. <laughs> now look at this. We have another one, and it's instead of because, now we're going to use because of, or do to. Do to and because of are followed by a noun clause, right? Or the fact that, because of the fact that, or due to the fact that I was very tired, I went to bed early, right? Because the fact because of the fact that I was very uh, that I was very tired, I went to bed early. Mm -hmm. This is very formal. Eh? This is very formal. So that's why the one that we normally use is because, right? This is the one we use. And check, notice the sentence. You say because it was sunny. And you say, teacher, aha, uh -huh, but you can have it. A pronoun, you can have a noun, yeah, but you have a complete sentence, right? It was sunny, it's a sentence. I have a subject, I have a verb, I have a complement. So you say, because it was sunny. But in this case, no. I only use a noun. Yeah. So you say, we were late due to the traffic. Yeah. We were late, we were due, late to. due to. Due to. The traffic. The traffic. We were late due to the fact that there was a lot of traffic. So if you want to give more, to make it longer, right? And to make it, I would say more formal. You say, we were late due to the fact that. Check, this the fact that, right? Uh, we were late due to the fact that there was a lot of traffic. Mm? Now I don't say due to the fact that the traffic, that's not possible. Due to the fact that there was a lot of traffic. Now I use a sentence to complete the idea. Mm -hmm. Do you see the difference? Due to the traffic, but due to the, tra uh, due to the fact that there was a lot of traffic. The same here. We were late because of the traffic. Why were you late? Oh because of the traffic. I was late because of the traffic. I was late because of the rain. 
I was late because of the, the truth that was in the middle of the city, right? I didn't come to class because of the rain. Oh, I didn't come to class because it was raining. Or because of the fact that it was raining. Mm -hmm. So check here. We were late because of the traffic. We were late because of the fact that there was a lot of traffic. Yeah. So you say, I went to bed early due to the fact that I was very tired. Mm -hmm. I went to bed early be, uh, since I was tired, right? Or because I was tired, if you want to use because, the position. Because I was tired. Mm -hmm. Tired. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Now we have another. Here we have two, right? Remember. Well, four. Because, since, do to, and because of. Somebody has a question? No? No question. No question. Okay. Not the chair. Okay, okay. Now check this one. We have a transition words to show effect or result. Remember, I told you effect, result, consequence, whatever you want to call it, it's the same at the end, right? We have so and we have therefore. So and therefore are used to show an effect or result, right? They are used to show an effect or result. It was raining, so we stayed home. Remember, when we're talking about reason, we put the reason at the end, right? When my purpose is to make a sentence to express result, I put the reason at the beginning. So this is the reason or the cause, whatever you want to call it. And then I put the result or the consequence or the effect. Depending on the transition that you're using, that the punctuation that you're going to use. Some books recommend to you to put a period and then comma. Some others recommend you to put semicolon, right? That's how you call the punto comma, right? Semicolon. So you can put a semicolon, then the transition, and then comma. So it's okay. It depends on um, how formal you want to be. But the two are okay. Yes, just so, like in the case of so, that is a little bit informal, is that you use just comma and then so. <clears throat> okay, so you say, it was raining, so we stayed home. I woke up late, therefore, I didn't eat breakfast. So as a result of this situation, I didn't... <laughs> Have breakfast. This is the result. Yes. We stayed home. Why did we stay home? The result of staying home? Or the result is staying home, right? What's the reason? It was raining. I didn't eat breakfast. Why I didn't eat breakfast? Because I woke up late. Right? So remember, to express effect and result, we use therefore, or we can use so. Here, you see we have the other example of punctuation. As I told you, you can use oh, period, and then the transition, and after that comma, or you can use a semicolon after the end of the, of the previous clause, 
then the transition, and then a comma. I have a headache. Therefore, I will stay home tonight. Right? I have a headache. Therefore, I will stay home tonight. Question over there? No question. <laughs> We have a, a two more words here. We have dos and hands. We sometimes use dos and hands to show an effect or reason. Dos and hands are used in formal writing more often than in speech. So you will know and listen to people using hands, right? But you can use people, uh, you can listen uh, you can see people writing hands and those, they are formal, right? Very, very formal. Look at the example. It was sunny, hence we went to the beach. As a result of being sunny, we went to the beach. There was a lot of traffic, thus we were late. As I told you, these two are very formal. So you can easily use consequently. There was a lot of traffic. Consequently, we were late, right? It was sunny. As a result, we went to the beach, right? But it depends on how formal you want to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And remember, these two are mostly used in greeting, not in speech. Okay, and we have the one that we know more, right? As a result, as a result of this transitional phrase and can be followed by a noun phrase or an independent clause. So we have, we were late as a result of the traffic, yeah? as a result of the traffic. We were late as a result of driving through traffic. Driving, a noun, right? We were late as a result, we missed the beginning of the movie. So check there is a difference, right? Teacher. Uh-huh. Uh, I, under, I am understanding your explanations, mm -hmm. but I have a question, but we always use because in everything, we were late because of the traffic. Uh, but that is reason. That's reason. And right now we're talking about result. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So if you say I was late because of the traffic, you are expressing reason. You're not expressing result. Yeah. Remember at the beginning, uh, we were talking about reason, but now we're talking about the result. When you say reason, the reason is the cause of the problem, right? And the result is what you get at the end. For example, imagine if you're late, why were you late? Because Why? of the raining, because of the traffic. Because of the traffic. Now, as we are using as a result, what was the result of, for being late? Or what, what was the result here? As a result, we missed the beginning of the movie. See? If you, if you translate the first one, llegamos tarde como resultado del tráfico, right? Llegamos tarde como resultado de manejar a través del tráfico. O sea, ¿cuál es el resultado acá? Este. Llegar, to be, to be late. Ajá. Ese es el resultado. No the traffic. The traffic is the reason, right? Or the yeah. cost. Okay, so if you say we were late because of the traffic, we were late is 
the cost, right? Yeah. Okay, so the same here. The cost here is the traffic. We were late as a result of the traffic, as a result of como resultado del tráfico. ¿Cuál es el resultado? Llegamos tarde. Uh -huh. yeah. But the last one, the meaning changes. Porque su resultado no es que llegó tarde. Su resultado es que se perdió el principio de la película. Right? Because you say, we were late. As a result, check, aquí no digo as a result of. ¿Sí? Sino que as a result, we miss the beginning of the movie. Right? I went to bed late yesterday. As a result, I woke up late today. Yeah? I didn't study for the exam. As a result, I got a wrong grade. A bad grade. Yeah? I got a bad grade. A, a bad grade as a result of not studying. See the difference? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not the same, right? So if I use as a result, checking, una palabrita es la diferencia nada más. Y eso me cambia todo el orden del panorama. Sí. We were late as a result of the traffic. Llegamos tarde como resultado del tráfico. A consecuencia del tráfico. Uh -huh. So, we were late as a result. We missed the beginning. Llegamos tarde. Como resultado, nos perdimos el principio de la película. El resultado acá es este. Uh -huh. yeah. That's the result. Any question? question? No question? Mm -hmm. Not at the moment, teacher. Not at the moment. Okay, ya lo yeah. En el exercise. <laughs> <laughs> Ahí está. Empiezan a aparecer las preguntas. It's possible, it's possible to say it. Uh, I can hear very well because it's raining. Because of the raining now. Because of the rain. Because of the rain. Okay. Because of the rain. Yeah. The so rain is starting in Nehapa. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh. Uh -huh. So you can say, I can know he will be the rain. I cannot mm -hmm. hear well because it's raining. Mm -hmm. I'm checking, just making a, a balance, right? What transitions did we mention? A ver. What transition? Did we mention? Tell me. De los de solo ahorita. No the yeah. ones from the mano. Uh -huh. A ver. Um, One because of because of um because of and do do two okay because of do two therefore therefore since aha uh -huh, since. As a result, as a result, and as a result of, right? Remember, have because, because of, since, do to, therefore, so, thus, hence, as a result. And as a result of. So you, you saw there 
exactly 10 transitions. Look at the instructions. Combine the two sentences using an appropriate transition word or phrase. Do not repeat transition words or phrases. Each one may be used only once. So we mentioned 10 transitions. Of the 10 transitions we were mentioning, you will use only five. Don't repeat. Don't use the same transition in every single sentence. You cannot repeat. I'm going to share this exercise there in the chat, but before we will call attendance. I'm sure. Ouch, me duele la cabecita. Let's see, Adolfo, present. Present, teacher. Yes. Adriana Maria. Present, teacher. Adriana Sofia. Present, teacher. Ana. Present, teacher. Brenda. Present, teacher. Claudia. It's Claudia here. Okay. Eh, Cruz Antonio. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Elmer. No. José, José Alberto. Present teacher. Ah, reclama José Alberto. José Alfredo. Present teacher. <ríe> ¿Y usted qué se había hecho, muchachita? Me había perdido un montón de días por allá. José Alfredo, José Alfredo, José Alfredo. No había José Alfredo because of the traffic. Right? Yeah. Ok. José Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Present. Mauricio Emilio. Present. Nubia. Present teacher. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Saúl. Saúl. No, Saúl. No. Okay. Sul. Present teacher. Victor. Present teacher. Fernando. Present teacher. Rosy. Okay, bueno. Uh, I'm going to send you the, the page, the slide for you to work. Mm -hmm. Bashan, did you go? Let's go. Let's go to the room so you work together, discuss, and remember of the two sentences, you're going to make only one. And you cannot repeat once you used a, a transition, you cannot use that again. You have to use another one in the following. Yeah. Tell me. Can you, can you show the slides when, when the example with the examples of the positions? Okay. Yeah, teacher, please. Please, please. <laughs> oh, yes, teacher, please. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> How? So, yeah. Espérenme que no sea que les esté pegando la misma cada vez. Ah. Ah. Mm, estamos bien. 
Microsoft. Uy, en serio me está la cabeza. Hmm. Yeah, this is the last one. And the exercise already have it, right? Ahí está. So let's go. We are 20. I'm going to make groups of. Hey, Rosie, just some time to go to the mini rooms. Okay. I'm going to make groups of four. Let's go. Join, join. Cruz Antonio, David, Fernando. Fernando, hello. Okay. Este... Sofi, ¿usted puede compartir o...? Sí. Para ver si podemos trabajar. Ya comparto. Estoy tratando de sacar una fórmula y no... No hay o si restar o multiplicar. Vaya. ¿Ya ven? Really, are you in, in Excel? No, no. Lo que está dentro del paréntesis, ya sabe, va a ver primero. Esto. Sí, sí. Yes. Es we, we, no sé we, si... We have to work on it. Ajá, ese es el detalle. Ya. Yeah. No sé si Ajá. puedo usar Paint o... o Yo algo puedo, así. si puedo anotar pero cuando cambia de imagen tengo que borrarlo. Entonces, cuando terminemos de, de resolverlo, alguien tiene que tomarle screenshot. Sí, yeah, I will. Ok, bye. Vale. Transition words and phrases combine the two sentences using an appropriate, appropriate transition word or phrase. Do not repeat transition words or phrases. Each one may only be used once. Huh? Okay. Each one may only be used once. But the first, I guess, that is because, just because. Okay. Uh, yeah. okay. There was a tropical storm. No, it's uh, only because a tropical storm. I guess that is all the on the phrase. We no, we don't delay in anything. We use uh, okay. add, we use at a uh, transition we word. Stay, we stay inside. We stay inside because because we stay. State. State inside. Inside. Because with no comma. Or we can put comma, Mauricio. Ahorita me fijo, ahorita estoy viendo el ejemplo. There was a tropical story. Sí, sin coma lo veo aquí en el primer ejemplo. Okay, que es el without, without, okay. Because there was a tropical storm. 
okay because there was was a tropical because there was a storm okay okay next one Esta sería... Tracy failed fail the exam. Wait. She didn't study. Tracy failed the exam. As in, a result... We can use since. No. Uh, since no. or consequently. Since it is to express the time. Uh, I, don't, I understand that. Yo creo que debería ser as a result. As a result or consequently. That's... En la primera... Eh, because este, no serviría más en la, en la otra en la segunda en, verdad en la, segunda, ajá, en la primera podríamos poner este eh, como dos mm, dos viene siendo como dos t h u s cuál T H U S You uh -huh. yeah. without, without E without the E mm -hmm. without E I don't understand, sorry. Sin la E? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We stay inside, thus there was a tropical storm. <clears throat> Nos quedamos dentro porque había una tormenta tropical. Mm -hmm. And the second one... Tracy failed the exam because she didn't study. Mm -hmm. They had a car accident. Uh, do it. Do to. He was sending a text. He? Uh -huh. They have a car accident. Do to D U E D U E mm -hmm. Do to space space T O. Mm -hmm. okay. They had a car accident due, due to he was sending a text. Debido a que estaba enviando un texto. Teacher, in, in this case, it can be they ha had a car accident as a result too. Or no? Can you repeat? They had a car accident, number three. Uh -huh. As a result. As a result of? No, as a result. He was sending a text. But check it. ¿Qué pregunta le responde? Why did Dave have a car accident? Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So we can use we can't use uh, 
what what my partner said, right? Repeat. We can use that the, my partner say. Maha, but what and what is the question that it answers? They have a car accident. As a result, what is Dave had a car accident? Is that a result or is that a reason? That is a result. Mm -hmm. Then so, the other one is the reason, right? Right. Remember, if you want to ex uh, to put it, to express the result in the sentence, you have to make a couple of changes. Hmm. Uh, who is right driving is Rose? So he is... He was sending a text. Mm. Yes or not, teacher? You cannot do so. You too. Hmm. ¿Qué usamos después de you too? ¿Qué sigue? Después de YouTube, ¿qué sigue? Um, because, no. Mm. Chequen las estructuras también, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. YouTube and because, no. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, YouTube and because of. Ajá. Uh -huh. Check the structure. <coughs> They has a car accident. Ah, uh, no, no, no. no. Uh -huh. Le pueden cambiar. As a result, is the best, the best, uh, the best match matches. Le tienen que hacer cambios si le ponen as a result. Ok. Recuerden, si ocupan as a result, el result está después de la palabra as a result. Si ocupan mm. as a result of, el resultado queda antes. O sea, si, si se puede, cualquiera de las dos, y pueden mover cualquier cosa que quieran en la oración. Pero, pero, ah, una cosa, antes de because, quítenle el punto, ¿verdad? Mm. Este, pero si ustedes ocupan as a result o as a result of, independientemente de cuál ocupen, tienen que hacerle cambios a la oración. Sería como, eh, Dave was sending a text. As a result, he had a car accident. Exactly. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Repeat, please. Ponte <laughs> coma y coma. Vaya. Espérame. ¿Qué es? Me... Ajá. <coughs> Me quedo así. My flight was delayed, comma, hence, mm -hmm. comma, I didn't make it home in time for the wedding. Watching the example, it is 
hands. Uh -huh. right. We have to write it. My slide. It was sunny. Hence, we went to the beach. Uh, una consecuencia. Hence, y después el resultado. Después de leer punto o punto y coma, Ana. Excuse me? Después de delay puede ser punto o punto y coma, pero no coma. Ah, ok, ok. Ajá, ah, ah, sí, sí, sí. Yo le puse punto y coma. <risas> Was delayed. It's supposed to be finished. Vaya, chequenme por favor las puntuations y qué es lo que me está expresando con cada una de las palabras que usted está escogiendo. ¿Qué significa hence? Eh, según lo que usted nos... Bueno, no sé, lo que entendí yo, mejor dicho era que había una uh, uh, um, effect or reason cause, a cause uh -huh. and then it is is a result mm -hmm. and hence is a uh, very formal to use but uh, i don't know if we can use in this sentence I don't know, because it's, it's too formal, pues. Mm -hmm. But no sé. I show, time to, to show an effect or reason. Uh -huh. Huh? And that is oh. the effect. The effect is um, he didn't make it home in time for the wedding. Uh-huh, exactly. Vaya, give a check to number two and number three. Number two and number three. Trade fails the exam as a result of she didn't study. Trade you failed the exam. Well, we... Ah, okay, okay, okay. okay. Sí, aquí es al revés, perdón. Because failed the exam is the result, right? Uh-huh. And she didn't study is the cause. Mm, let me see. A result of. My gosh, what I did. Podemos darle vuelta a la oración entonces, teacher. Sure, perfect. You can move it. Okay. No uh, Anna, entonces, the, it can be, she didn't study. Okay. Check it. Check it. Check it. Change number two. Y en, no, en number three, pongan el nombre primero y después el pronoun. For example, Dave was sending a text, therefore he had a car accident. Ah, uh -huh. instead of sí, he. Porque, porque okay. cuando, cuando va a usar un pronoun es porque ya mencionó el, no, el noun primero. Uh, they, they was sending a text, therefore he. he. Check the punctuation. So you use after text, punto y coma, el semicolon, o period. Cualquiera de las dos que le guste más. Y después de therefore tiene que ir una coma. Oh. Ahí está. Dave was sending a text. Therefore, he had a car accident. Uh -huh. okay. Mike is a good volleyball player. Since Mike is a good volleyball player, he wins many games. Nice. Ah, les falta, ¿verdad? Ah, no, ahí está. No, we think. Ah, ah, my flight was delayed, so I didn't make it home in time for the wedding. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Nice. We have 10. Uh, no. <laughs> no, because you have to fix number two. Ah. Tracy failed the exam due to... She didn't study. Due to the lack of studying. Ahí tienen que cambiarle. Ah. O, o, o pueden ocupar because o since también. Ah, ah, but you say that we don't have to... Ajá, vaya, you can use due to in the number one and because in the second. Mm. Okay. Because in number one, you can say due to the due to a tropical storm, ¿verdad? But mm -hmm. in the second, it's uh, you don't have a noun. Due to a tropical storm. Ajá, uh and -huh. you too, hasta ahí. Quítele el de. De, 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 de. Uh -huh. to a tropical storm. Exactly. Okay. And the other one is the exam. Because. Uh -huh. Because she didn't study. Because yeah. she didn't study. Uh -huh. <laughs> nice. Sounds better. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Great. But that was with a watch out on last room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And then I call you. Hi, teacher. Hi. Mm -hmm. You finish. Because he was sending, number three. Because he was sending. He was. Because he was sending. A text. Uh -huh. right. Sending is say this form. Because yes. he was sending. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, Mike is a good volleyball player, so he wins many. Uh -huh. Yes. My flight was delayed, therefore I didn't make it home in time for the wedding. Okay, perfect. Nice. Yes. Yes. Now you got a 10. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's see, let's see. How many are missing? Hmm, 20 seconds. Okay, now everybody here. Let's see. Uh, remember, there are different options, different ways of making this exercise, right? Let's see. What do you have in number one? We stayed inside. There, there was a tropical storm. Tell me. I have, we stayed inside due to the tropical storm. Nice. Sorry, my. What is the pronunciation, teacher? Do two. Do. 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 Mm -hmm. Do two. Do two. We stayed inside. Due to the tropical, to, to a tropical storm. Another possibility? 
want to share one teacher. Uh -huh. Tell me. From the one, it, it could be we stay inside. Eh, quiero ver cuál fue la que pusimos. Since. Since. Since, Since there was a tropical storm. storm. Okay, we went in, we stayed inside since there was a tropical storm. Okay, yes. Another possibility? Another possibility, no more. We there went. was a tropical storm, so we stay inside. Yeah, nice. Oh, yeah. Este cuadro raro que metí aquí. Vale. So you say out. Oh, we. Cuadro me puso lo. We stayed inside. Uh, no, we. There was there, a tropical storm, so we stayed inside. Yes? Yes. Good. And number two, Tracy failed the exam. She didn't study. Tracy failed the exam. As a result, she failed the exam. Huh? Because she didn't study. No. A ver, que me mezclaron todo. <laughs> Tracy failed the exam due to, due. I know, I also do. A ver, Tracy. Ay, no, fíjense que no me deja incrustar. Qué barbaridad, cuadro de texto. Ah, bueno, copiemos y peguemos entonces. Y ahí tengo, déjeme enoja Zoom y dice que por qué estoy copiando. No está ganado. Excuse me, may I leave for five minutes? Okay, Anna. Vaya. Tracy. Victor. Para yo. Victor. Tracy failed the exam. Because she didn't study. Because she didn't study. Uh -huh. Another possibility? I have Tracy done a done study as a didn't. result. Didn't. Didn't study as a result. She failed the exam. Uh-huh. She didn't study. As a result, she failed. 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 Ay, espérenme, tuve un lapsus brutus aquí. She failed the exam. Ok. Yes. Me la ha pasado que de repente ya no saben qué estaban escribiendo. <risa> Vaya, ahí está. Ok, let's go for number three. Dave had a car accident. Mm -hmm. As a result, they was sending a text. As a result, he had a car accident. Okay. Yes, David had a car accident. Text. Yes. Uh, text. And the other one that Carlita said. They were sending a text. As a result, he had a, a car accident.
okay, David was sending a text. As a result, he had a car accident. Mm -hmm. they, Dave had a car accident as a result of sending texts. Allí le pueden quitar el he was y ya el sending que está en ING nos funciona como noun. Y recuerden que después de as a result of, we use a noun, right? Then you can perfectly say that. Dave had a car accident as a result of sending texts. O sea, como resultado de estar enviando mensajes, he had an accident. Okay, what about uh, Mike? Mike. Mm -hmm. Mike. Mike is a good. Mike is a good volleyball player. Uh huh. Therefore, he wins many games. Ok, le vamos a poner el, el semicolon. Therefore. Ajá. Mike is a good baseball, volleyball player. As a result, no. Therefore, he wins many games. Another possibility? Another possibility, no more. So you can say, uh, oh. Mike wins many games due to being good, due to being a good volleyball player. Uh huh. Okay. Or. Oh. Mike wins many games because he is a good volleyball player, right? So you can play. Ahí depende lo que les comentaba. Depende de qué mencionan primero, si la reason o el result, right? That will depend on that. A ver, number five. Um, my flight was delayed. Therefore, I did not, I didn't make it, uh, make it home in time for the wedding. Wedding. Uh -huh. Was delayed. Therefore, I didn't make it. I didn't in, make it home in time for the wedding. Okay, therefore I didn't make it in time for the wedding. Or you can say my flight was delayed, therefore, or my, uh, my flight was delayed, so I didn't make it home in time for the wedding. Mm -hmm. I didn't make it home in time for the wedding because of the delayed flight. Por el vuelo retrasado, right? In that case, because of the delayed flight. Okay, any questions here, chicos? Questions. Está fácil, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Of course. Of course, but teacher? Then, yeah, who said teacher? Fernando. Hey, teacher, Fernando, yes, I have a, a question, but it's from the plat platform. Uh -huh. uh, I sent a text in the group of WhatsApp because I found a mistake in the, in the in platform. That, right? Yeah, 3.9. Yes. yes. I already... To, I to report it. See, I already reported it. I reported it last night. 
Veo que ya vieron el mensaje, but I got no answer. Me okay. preguntó básico tres, yo le dije intermedio tres. I don't know if it was fixed, porque I got no answer. I just see that the person in charge saw the, saw the message. But I don't know if he fixed the problem. You sent it early, right? Yes. Morning. Yes, teacher. I reported it last night, but I got an answer asking about the course. Uh, 12, 24. So, hmm. Vamos a ver. Ah, qué chistoso. Es que no le puse de qué curso fuera. Va. Ok. Vaya. Eh, I'm going to check. I don't know. I don't know if it was already fixed or not. Let me give a check quickly. Be before I say, listen, there is a still a mistake. If I haven't checked, I cannot say that. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I cannot say, hey, the, the problem is still exists there. And he will say, fix it, you didn't check. So I'm, I'm going to enter it right now. Let's see. No, we still have the problem. I'm going to report it again. But I'm going to stop sharing here. Hoy lo voy a reportar en el de todo el mundo. <risa> ¿O oh, sí? Alguien me responde. ¿no? Cuatro, ¿verdad? Ay, muy bien, ¿en qué curso estamos ya nosotros? <risa> Ay, no les digo que mi cerebro ya no sirve. A esta altura del año se me descompone un poquito. Sí, ay. No es que ya no sirve, ya no procesa. <risa> ya no, ya no, ya no. Es que hemos estado trabajando mucho desde las siete de la mañana. Ya la memoria RAM llegó a su capacidad. <risa> sí, ya está así como que... Teacher, yesterday we talked about in, in the group we talked about uh, the the finish of this uh, unit or or this level. It's the last one of this unit, number three. This is the last one. No, 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 no. I I I think um, we finish in. Uh, December 5? Yes. Yes. Sí. And the other is in this year or next year? Next year. Next year. Yeah. Okay, December this is the the vacations. The... You have you will have a very long vacation. <laughs> Yeah, you will have a very. Oh, that's bad I, for me. I do ustedes que me vengan en enero que se les olvidó todo. <laughs> I forgot an question. I do ustedes que se van a decir, tío chaco. No, lo voy a mandar con tarea. No. Te voy a mandar así, en serio, que lo... No, dice no. No, es Christmas holidays. Mandar con tarea, como la que le gusta al principio para que pasen jugando y practicando ahí un su 10 minutos. I'm away with that. <ríe> ¿Qué, qué? What did you say? I'm away with that. ¿Verdad? The thing is... The thing is that if you don't practice a complete month, 
you will forget everything. Well, not everything, but you will forget a lot of things. So during the vacation, listen to music in English, watch movies in, watch movies in English, go to the links, practice. Practice vocabulary, practice structure, watch the videos from the manual. So do something, right? Don't take vacation, vacation, vacation. We teachers never take vacations completely on vacations. We're making material for, for the future. And you should keep the same. A vacation is for you to take advantage and study things that you normally cannot study, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Para ti le dije. Teacher, for how long are, are, are we going to stay free? A month. Really? Yes. Thanks, God. <laughs> A month because we finish on the 5th of December and you're back in January, about the second week of January, something like that. Mm -hmm. so imagine that's long time you cannot be completely on vacation you will <laughs> I see that I can listen to the fireworks right the bling, right uh -huh. yes I know <laughs> I know I know we need to recharge batteries me too me too me too <laughs> I know okay well, let's see. Okay, let's go to, let's go to, let's go to the next exercise. But I already shared the problem again. I reported it again. Uh, so, the thing is that in the morning, I'm, right now I know what I'm doing, but in the morning I am in something else. When I was asked what course it was, I said intermediate three. <laughs> so no, 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 no. That, that's why the problem has not been fixed because I, I didn't send the, the, the course correctly. So, but let's hope that for tomorrow it will be fixed, okay? Well, Let's look at this one. So we have some other exercises here. Read the warehouse issues. Apply the corresponding punctuation and compare your answers with a partner. We have, we removed items from car cartons and packages. As a result, pickers are not able to find them where they when they need to. What you have to do here is punctuation, right? Put the correct punctuation. Mm -hmm. The vendor is shipping multiple items in a single box. Consequently, we have to waste time to open the box, count the items and rebox them. <laughs> okay. The warehouse doesn't have enough ducks, therefore we have to put products in the aisles. The conveyor belt broke, a con broke. As a consequence, there is not enough staff to put arriving packages away. Okay, let's see. How can we fix them? How, how, how can we fix them? Me, yes. teacher. Ah, uh, number one. Uh, we remove items from car cartons and packages, comma. Comma and or semicolon? Semicolon. Uh -huh, semicolon. Uh -huh, semicolon. As a result, comma. Mm -hmm. Pickers are not able to find them when they need to. Mm -hmm. 
Excellent, very good. Now let's see number two. The vendor. The vendor is shipping multiple items in a single box. We can put a semi semicolon or a period, right? We can also put a period here. And then we put this in capital letter. Consequently, okay. comma. Comma. Como, yeah, this como, is a semicolon. 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 No es colon. Es semi. Semicolon. Ah. Ah, ese es el nombre en inglés, teacher. Sí, así se llama semicolon. El punto okay. y coma. ¿Y, y la coma cómo sería en inglés? Coma, coma, coma. double M. Uh -huh. Coma. Yeah. And this is a capital letter. La mayúscula, right? Capital. Yeah. A capital letter. And this is the period. 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 Period, uh, because we're talking about uh, in the middle of a sentence, right? That's a period or in a sentence. If you're using it with uh, numbers, no es period, sino que es point. For example, 7.3. Okay. Y si lo usamos en correo electrónico, es dot. So it depends on, on the use that you're giving it to it. <clears throat> okay, let's see number three. The warehouse. Another one who wants to participate. A ver, a ver, Victor. Or victim, a victim, teacher. <laughs> a Victor or a victim. Cada vez que dicen victim, siento que dicen Victor. <laughs> y les recuerda todo, Victor. <laughs> but it's not okay. the same. <laughs> Big okay. or big Tim. Okay. The warehouse. The warehouse doesn't have enough ducks. Mm -hmm. Column. Yes. Semicolon. 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 Es que el colon es el dos puntos. Sí. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we have to put produce in the iceberg. Y después de therefore, ¿qué ponemos? Therefore, coma. Ah, uh -huh. um. Therefore, coma. Okay. And the last one. The conveyor belt broke. Mm -hmm. What <coughs> situation? Period. The conveyor belt broke. Semicolon. As a consequence, comma. There is no enough staff to put arriving package away. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. Very good. Any questions? Questions. Questions. Vaya pues, let's go to the last thing. Remember yesterday we said that you were writing this the, the problems, right? Now, what you're going to do is choose one issue and like. one sentence using transitions. Yes, like the examples we were just studying. Mm -hmm. Allí le van a tener que agregar un poquito más a, a, al problema, ¿verdad? Para hacer la oración. For example, if you say, mm, there is a problem, well, 
There is a bad organization of the warehouse. As a result, we have overcrowding of products. There is a bad organization in the warehouse. As a result, we have overcrowding of products. Okay, just one. Any of the problems that you want to choose, choose one and make a sentence. We have dairy conditions, overcrowding. You can have it like a, a reason or like a result, depending on what you want to see. Okay, who will be my first volunteer? Only one. Just one. Uh, selling product to the ground place. As a result, uh, we have a lost money. <laughs> <laughs> they were sending products to the ground place. As a result, they have less money. Very good. Thank you, Brenda. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, Carlita. Carlita, no se me esconda, yo ya la vi. Recuerden que le pueden dar vuelta a las palabras, right? So you can do whatever you want. Just choose one of the issues. Use result, to use yeah. reason. No problem. Aha, Calip. Tell me, tell me. I don't know, teacher. I don't think. <laughs> Le voy a dar la palabra que voy a ocupar. Bad rotation of the inventory. There is a bad rotation of the inventory. Termínela. There is a bad rotation inventory. Of the inventory. Of the inventory. Puede usar because, because of, as a result, so, whatever you want to. So, we wrong inventory. There is a bad rotation of the inventory, so we can have this. So, we finished with a lot of expired products, right? There was a bad, there is a bad rotation of the inventory. So we finished with a lot of expired products. Okay, let's see, one more volunteer. Let's see. Sure. Tell we me. have. <laughs> Nubia, tell me. Mm. No sé si está bien, pero yo le voy a dar. <laughs> um, we may have losses in the company uh -huh. as a result of damage product. Yeah, sure. Perfect. Yes, yes. We can have lost in the company, loss of money, right? As a result okay. of damage products. Very good. Great, great. Jose Alberto, your turn. Yes, teacher. Tell me one. Okay. We find the wrong inventory in the pins. Mm -hmm. As a consequence, the products 
is lost. Okay, as a consequence, the product got lost. Okay, very good. Got lost. Thank you, Rosie. Rosie, Rosie, Rosie. Okay, teacher. Muy bien. Ajá. Sending product, perdón, sending product to the wrong place as a result, not found where it is, where is the place. Okay, they were sending, ahí le vamos a agregar, ¿verdad? They were sending, pro, they, the product was sent to the wrong place. ¿Por qué? As a result, not found. As a, re, uh -huh. As a result, not found. Not found, where is place? The place was not found. Ah, the place was found. Okay, they were sending the product to the wrong place. As a result, mm, is maybe because, 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 because the place was not found, right? because the place was not found. Or the place was not found as a result, they sent the product to the wrong place. Mm -hmm. Le da. La cel, el cross. Somebody else? A ver, a ver. David. Y después Sophie. Y David anda por allí. David, David, David. Um, yes, teacher. <laughs> David. <laughs> David ya tiene como cinco oraciones escritas. Vamos, David. No, pues, ahí todavía me estoy quebrando la cabeza. Como una... <laughs> Good, David. Uh, ok. Uh, the warehouse uh, doesn't have uh, doesn't have en, enough mm -hmm. enough dog wrong inventory maybe doesn't have enough ¿qué? Uh, wrong inventory Okay, the the company doesn't have enough enough inventory. Yes. Y eso como resultado de qué? The ah oh, okay the the count uh, no the storage the storage low. Okay, as a result of the low storage. Okay. Yes. As a result of the low storage. Very good. Thank you, David. Y one last volunteer. Vamos a ver, Brenda. No, Brenda ya me dijo, ¿verdad? Que fue la primera. Yes, but I have. You have another one. But, okay, go ahead. In the store has dirty condition. So we do a clean campaign. Yeah. The <laughs> store is in, clean, in dirty conditions, right? Yeah. The store is in dirty conditions, so we will make a clean company. Nice. Like it. Okay, great, great. Very good. Vámonos a la last attendance. Let's see. Eh, Adolfo. Adriana Maria. Present teacher. Adriana Sofia. Present. Ana. Present teacher. Se jugó, se escapó Sofi. Que era la. No, aquí estoy. No, for the example. <laughs> se escapó. Okay. Se le la campana. Ah, mire. Les, les, les voy a mandar un, una, una práctica. Oye. Ahí al, al chat. Antes de que se me olvide. Ok, Ana, present. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, teacher, present. Brenda Alexandra. Present, teacher. Fabio Guadalupe. Cruz Antonio. Present, teacher. 
David. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. José Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mauricio. Good night teacher. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Saul Edgardo. Present. Zulma. Present teacher. Victor Manuel. Present teacher. Fernando Enrique. Present teacher. And Rosin. Present teacher. Saul le toca quedarse. See you. See you, see you. Good see night. you. Bye. 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 Have a nice night. Take care. See you tomorrow. ¿Quién se queda hoy? Saúl. Oh, okay. okay. Bye. See you, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Teacher. Hola. Uh, when we have to finish homework? You have to finish tomorrow, Carlita. Uh, okay. Thank you. Sí, porque hoy me están pidiendo que, termine, que revise, actualice viernes. Oye. <coughs> pero no terminamos lunes. Sí, pero igual. Yo eso. Okay. Yo eso. Okay. Dije, pero me dijeron, no, teacher, cada viernes. <ríe> sí. Ok. <ríe> Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Hi, Saul. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm okay. What about you? Fine, fine. Tell um, me how how are you doing with the platform, Saul? Uh in the platform. Mm -hmm. uh, what I have done or I didn't understand very well. How are you doing with the platform? Vamos a ver. I have complete until section number number two. I'm pretty sure about it in the meter. And about the section number three. Uh, ah, yeah, all... you have done three, right? Uh -huh, yes. You have done some. Nice. Yes, uh, I just was uh, realized that uh, in the in the ex in the exercise or homework, uh, I don't know with uh, which number, but a classmate was typing in the chat in WhatsApp that there is a mistake or an error uh, in mm -hmm. that homework, and I I realized about it. Yeah, that is the three point nine. Yes, three point nine. I'm going to I'm going to see it again here. Uh -huh. See, that's the 3.9. Ve, aquí le han puesto. Ajá. Sí, sí. Ajá. We're missing one question there. That's why it gives only uh, 15, but no 20. Then you cannot have the 100. You will have no 95. But let's hope that they fix it soon, right? So by the moment we collect the grace tomorrow night that is complete okay. you can you can already start with the with the final exam because, yes because we have uh, you can start doing unit one and two and then just wait to finish three and then like that so next week you don't have to do too much right so that's that's an advantage yes Hey, do you have any questions about any topic, Saul? Um, not really, to be honest. Okay. Okay, that's good. I'm not so mad. Okay, um, you're new in this course, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, do you know that the video, well, the, the, the manual we have, we are using has videos? Uh, 
I didn't understand. <laughs> right, I'm going to show you. Okay. The manual. Uh-huh. Um, the manual has... I want to share the manual with you. Ah, yes. At the end, well... Mm -hmm. At the end of the page, when you are beginning every every exercise, right? Mm -hmm. You have at the end of the page some links. Yes. In some cases, they are readings. In other cases, they are videos. For example, this one, the optimization case study, that's a video. And mm -hmm. you can perfectly see them. We cannot see them here in class. So you see every every single lesson. We have a we have a a, a video right or, or a reading. This is a reading. Here you have a video. Mm -hmm. We cannot see the videos here in class because of the rights, right? That's the video goes to YouTube. That's why we cannot do it. But in your own time, you can perfectly uh, go and 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 watch the videos or do the exercises there. Okay. And that's another advantage that you have, that you can go and practice the, the structure, the vocabulary or audio, right? The listening yes. That's yes, yes. that can, can give you an extra, an extra okay. practice. Mm -hmm. So you see all, all the units have two, all the pages, right beginning, here we are in unit number three. All the, every two pages, you may have those videos to see. Okay, mm -hmm. great. So that is a part of, a part of the, the platform that we have. So you can perfectly go do or watch the, the, the videos in your, in your time, right? And have some extra. So okay, I will try to see a couple of videos. Yeah, the, uh, the, the purpose there is that you can give an extra a practice to the structure, to the vocabulary, and also to get exposed to audio, right? To, to extra listening, apart just of uh, listening to the teacher and the classmates, right? So you can listen to somebody else talking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, That's right. The idea here. Okay. I don't know if you have any other comment or question, uh, Saul. Mm, no, teacher. Okay. Well, perfect. See you tomorrow then. Have a nice a uh, a nice night and a nice day. Okay, teacher. Thank you and uh, have a nice night too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.